Hello, everyone. I'm Dennis Tartzer with Deloitte Digital. And uh, over the next few minutes, we're going to talk about how we can all use Adobe I.O. and the Adobe Data Platform to help our clients. Now, we have all been working with our clients in marketing on helping them improve marketing performance. We have worked towards and achieved better conversion rates, improved customer experiences, and, and more. And that's all well and good, but we have not exhausted the opportunities to make marketing performance better, much better. And there are still many, many use cases where becoming much better is necessary. Now, let's take a look at one such use case, trial conversion. It's a very common use case in the software sector and a very important one to the sales motion. According to one survey and one benchmark, the conversion from trial entry into a paid subscription is 0.6%. And that is just one part of the overall sales journey. That is not an impressive number. That is an example of where we need to go to do better and go from good to great. But how do we do that? Well, first off, let's take a look at the foundation that we already have. And that foundation is strong. We've been using the Adobe Marketing Cloud to improve marketing performance and results for a number of years. And we do that successfully. We use Adobe Target to personalize and optimize on the web. We use Adobe Campaign to target on email and cross-channel. We use Adobe Analytics to understand behaviors, find patterns. We use the Data Workbench to calculate propensity scores. But there is still a manual cycle between data gathering data analysis, and our ability to change customer experiences and personalize them. There's still a lag between signal and action. And to go from good to great, we need to reduce that lag and get a lot closer to real-time optimization. Now, to do that, three things need to happen. First, we need to be able to gather the data from multiple sources and multiple form factors and bring it together. Second. We need a place to put all of that data and integrate it into one cohesive whole. And third, we need a way to analyze that data in real time and trigger action. Now, in a few seconds, I'm going to jump on a quick demo where we use Adobe I.O. and the Adobe Data Platform to do just that. In short, we use Adobe I.O. and the new reincarnation of the Adobe uh, Dynamic Tag Manager to gather behavioral signals from not just the web, but from an in-product experience. We use the Adobe Data Platform to bring that data in and integrate that with Adobe Analytics and third -party, uh, additional third-party data. Then we use a, an algorithm powered by the intelligent services in Adobe Sensei and the Sensei Machine Learning Framework to calculate a propensity score to convert in real time and then, if that weren't enough, we are going to use Adobe I.O. to once again surface that propensity score to affect the customer experience in real time in both a push and a pull fashion. So let's take a look. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to take you through a quick static demo. Uh, those of you who are interested in a live walkthrough, uh, we welcome you to stop by our booth where we can entertain questions and take you uh, a little bit behind the scenes. But for now, we'll uh, go through a static walkthrough. We begin with a project ma management software based in the cloud, delivered as a service. A very common use case in the technology sector, and in fact, um, something that has corollaries in other sectors going forward. And uh, we've got a uh, prospect that signed up for a trial that we want to convert. And we want to convert them to a paid subscriber. And we know that time-based offers are not enough to get there. Well, we begin by orchestrating signal gathering from an in-product experience using the new iteration of the uh, Adobe DTM and Adobe I.O. And we direct that data, those signals about which features are used, what's clicked, how frequently the trial is used, and direct them into the data platform, where that data is integrated with Adobe Analytics, uh, YouTube, Facebook, other third-party data sources. Now, once we've got that data, uh, some real magic starts happening. 
Uh, we use an algorithm that we created using the uh, Adobe Sensei Intelligent Services and the Machine Learning Framework to calculate the propensity score. That propensity score is calculated in real time, and it changes over time. It goes up as features are accessed, as the prospect interacts with our product, and it goes down with periods of inactivity. Now, the really cool stuff is what happens in our ability to react to that. When certain thresholds are reached, now we can take action and surface offers in an in-product uh, experience and other channels when the customer is most likely to convert. So the way it manifests itself is that when our prospect is in the product, when the propensity score is reached, we can now surface an offer to use uh, premium features, for example, if that's what we believe and what our algorithm tells us drives conversion. Or we can put up an offer to buy where it matters, when it matters, when the prospect is most likely to convert. Uh, what you can't see in the screenshot behind me is uh, how we use the Adobe I.O. event framework, which is equally important, to trigger an event in real time so that we can deliver an offer via email when the propensity score thresholds are crossed. Now, this demo is just scratching the surface. Um, and, um, there are a lot of other scenarios uh, that you can imagine in, in applying this uh, to your client situations. Um, I welcome and invite you to, to stop by our booth and have a, an in-depth discussion, but I'd like to leave you with three thoughts. Uh, as one, uh, be patient in, in the anticipation of the Adobe I.O. Um, and the data platform evolution over this coming year, um, and begin thinking about optimizing experiences for real-time conversion based on real-time signals. Second, um, extend your thinking beyond the traditional formula of web, email, mobile, social. Think of in-product experience and connected experiences, IoT, AR, VR, as equally important opportunities to engage with your customers, with your audiences, and drive conversion. And finally, invest in extending your consolidated customer data and marketing data models to include not just your first party data, but also second and third party data, because that's what's really going to drive the intelligence and optimize the experiences. Thank you very much.